okay so let's talk about thermodynamic systems that what are the various type of thermodynamic systems and there are three basic type of systems open system a closed system adiabatic system actually there are four type of systems open system closed system adiabatic system and isolated system so let's discuss about them one by one and the first is an open system as the name suggests open system is an open one for example let's say i have a container in which i have water and i'm just boiling that water and that container is open so it is an open system a system which may exchange both energy and matter around its surrounding is known as open system now what happens that when i am heating this obviously i am giving heat to the system uh, this container containing water is my system and i am giving it heat from surrounding obviously because i am heating it so there is transfer of energy in the form of heat as well as the water vapors are coming out from the container that means water is also coming out so mass is being exchanged so both energy and mass can be exchanged between system and surrounding then it is known as open system an example is an open container hanging having water and that water is being boiled next is closed system now if i cover this container by a cap now this becomes a closed system now what is characteristic of this that obviously energy can be transferred i am heating so temperature of water is increasing the energy is being transferred in the form of heat but now water vapors are not coming out that means heat is being transferred energy is being transferred but matter is not being transferred so a closed system is a system which may exchange energy but not matter with surrounding now let now next is adiabatic system just imagine a thermos flask we have a thermos flask so what is the characteristic of thermos flask that it is uh you know in thermos flask if we keep hot water it remains hot for longer time and if if we keep ke, uh, keep cold water it remains cold for the long longer time because it is actually uh, it has a wall which does not allow transfer of heat so what is actually a uh, characteristic of an adi adiabatic system that adiabatic system is obviously a closed one it's a closed system so there is no transfer of matter but because walls are such that they do not allow transfer of heat so heat can also not be transferred okay so neither energy nor matter can be transferred through wall but actually the energy within the uh, flask or the system can be increased by doing work how let's say uh, actually i cannot heat it from outside i cannot bring out the matter from the system that means i cannot exchange energy or matter but i can do one thing that i start shaking this and when i start shaking this that means i'm doing some work and because of which some temperature of the liquid or anything which is present in inside the flask will increase so this means in this system neither energy nor matter can be exchanged however the internal energy can be changed by doing work on the system or by taking work from the system so in adiabatic system um energy is not changed matter is not changed but work can be done and which changes energy next is isolated system now just imagine that i have that thermos flask which is closed and it is thermos so heat can also not be transferred transfer of heat is zero transfer of mass is zero and now i just put it in the space you know space outside the earth so there is i cannot touch it now in fact there is nothing no air no friction nothing so that means now i can't do work on this so such type of system in which neither energy nor matter can be transferred and any type of work also cannot be done on the system or taken by the system this type of system is an isolated system we generally do not study about isolated system we study about closed system open system and adiabatic system isolated system means i cannot do anything i cannot operate on the system so what is the need of studying this so we do not study it but we know there is a isolated system also okay now just keep watching and please subscribe to see more videos of chemistry physics and biology thank you